Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday, and we're going back to Companion Spring Forever because still haven't even gotten to a checkpoint, which is kind of kind of rough. I think I've got it. I got the idea though on that one section. I think I think I just have to throw it ahead of me. And again, that feels like something I haven't actually been taught in this level. So. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps that is something that could have been better taught, or maybe, well, no, I would, I was going to say maybe this is the section where you're supposed to learn it, you know, the, the section I'm getting stuck on, but I don't think these are really good circumstances to be trying to learn that sort of thing. Oh, <laughs> I can put that there. Okay. Uh, I don't think... That's really the best section to be trying to teach that sort of thing because, you know, there's imminent danger. One thing that I have learned from watching various videos on game design is that generally, if you're trying to teach a player a concept, you want to you, you don't want to put a whole lot of pressure on them. Basically, the idea is like you want to give them time to figure it out. Oh, 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 hold on. Run's not dead. <laughs> Y'all thought it was dead, but it's not. Ah, of course. Now it's dead. But I managed to save it for a little bit. But yeah, so I ultimately, I guess my conclusion is I feel like that could have been taught better. The idea that like, oh yeah, you're supposed to throw this ahead of you this time instead of just dropping it in a spot. Because typically throwing the spring is going to be less accurate than just dropping it. So you want to just drop it most of the time. But in this case, I guess, because of the way that that thing sinks, you want to throw it. That almost worked. Cool. Uh, I just I just need to get a handle on the distance of the throw of the throw. It's also possible that I just am totally misinterpreting this and that there's another significantly easier solution. But, you know, if there is, I'm kind of too stupid to figure it out. And so we're doing it this way. <sighs> all right. All right. All right. Okay. We go here. And that's too far. And just gonna just gonna make an interesting death point. You know, if I know if I know that I have to die, then I try to make me die in an interesting spot, you know, so, so that someone else who dies in the level in a nearby, you know, will go, uh, oh hey, how did someone die there? You know, just to just to add a little, a little bit more flavor. I mean, this is already a pretty spicy level. But, but hold on, got to fuck. What if? Haha! Now I can live forever. Hee 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 hee. <laughs> All right, now we'll, now we just finished the level, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I missed the jump. <laughs> kind of ruined the bit, <laughs> but it's fine. We're continuing on. And by that, I mean restarting, because, you know, we died. Uh, hut, 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 hut. Ah, I'm a little sleepy. Probably because I was laying in bed all day. That generally makes you a bit sleepy. Yeah, I, I didn't really do much before I started recording. I, I basically just overslept and then watched a YouTube video or two. Hey, is this going to work? Oh, there it is. OK, so that does work. I just need to. <gasps> I just need to do it better. Just kind of kind of the crux of this whole idea, you know, of completing a level, but yeah, whatever. 
put. Adjust it in time. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold it. And uh, oh, uh, oh, see, it didn't die that time. Why didn't it die that time? I don't get it. Uh, uh, what is with these cycles, man? I don't understand. Whoops. That works. Put and then uh, put. Oh, also worth noting, it's a castle level, but it's not the last level. Just kind of, kind of, kind of breaking the theme a little bit, but like there aren't a whole lot of ways to do a lava level without doing a castle level. And, like this whole world is supposed to be lava, so you know, I, I get it, I guess. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. I, uh... Just didn't have it in me, I guess, for that run. Uh, whatever. Whatever. I'll just move on. And by move on, I mean restart. Because we died. Uh, Alright. Okay. Right. Hit. Cool. Bounce. Oh. Really? Really? I died to the spike there. Huh? Did I, did I see that right? I know I blinked. But like... I'm pretty sure... Okay, well... I'm pretty sure I just died to the spike when I was nowhere near it. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, God, I'm tired. And I have a stream to do after this. Yikes. It's fine. I'll survive. Uh because I'll be playing Learn Japanese to survive, and I'll be learning Japanese. Oh, right, I just remembered that I have to set up a thing for that. Uh, hmm. Oh, well, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, I fucked it up. Pretty sure I fucked it up. Pretty... Oh, I didn't fuck it up! Because somehow it didn't die that time. I don't understand. Ah, <sighs> man. Karimasen. Speaking of learning Japanese to survive. Now we're getting to the interesting point in that series. Now we're dealing with kanji. And I don't know a lot of kanji. I think... I think it was that, the game, that game that said, or somewhere I heard, that upon... Finishing high school, most Japanese students will know like 2,000 kanji. Also, uh, bad up. And I know maybe like, when it comes to kanji, I know maybe like eight, not 8,000, like eight. I know the days of the week, I think. Uh, dog. Uh, and then the numbers. I think up to, up to 99. If I remember right. I think, yeah, it's, it's not a whole lot. Ugh. <sighs> And that, I feel like, is my biggest impediment when it comes to learning to read Japanese currently, is just not knowing enough kanji to be able to read actual Japanese. 
Like, if things are in Hiragana or Katakana, I can handle that. But when it comes to anything that's in Kanji, yeah, I kind of just, basically, the I, I, I kind of just give up when I see Kanji because I'm like, yep, don't, don't know those. Which has me curious, you know, if like, if like a high school student, a high school graduate in Japan is supposed to know like about 2,000 kanji. How many is this game going to teach me? Because if we look at the previous games in the series, they each taught 46 characters and some of them have variations so it's like a total it was like a total of 80 or so uh, characters so if I learned 80 kanji that's pretty good but also um it's not anywhere near where I would like to be because you know I I'd like to have know enough kanji to read it, maybe like high school level. That would be nice. <sighs> Too far. I like how that one never actually hits the P switch. That's kind of funny. Uh, man, oh man, oh man. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta learn some more Japanese. And I don't know how much, after this game, I don't know how much of it I will be doing on stream. Because while I, doing it on stream has helped me learn a bit more, because I, I wasn't probably wasn't going to play those games if I didn't stream them. If we're being real here. But like... I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta learn that stuff to graduate from college. So, I need a, I need to pass the second language test, is the idea. And, well, the second language, the other language that I know best, aside from English, is Japanese. So, that's what I'm trying to learn. More Japanese, so I can pass that test. And, yeah. Graduate from college. Finally get that piece of paper after like 10 years. It's only been eight so far, but like... It's going to be nine, pretty much, by the time I finish the rest of my classes. Ah, man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much I'm going to stream myself learning Japanese. I almost died. Don't know how much I'm going to stream myself learning Japanese after that because I, uh, I don't know. I, I have other things I want to do with that time slot is kind of the idea. Right, cause that. That time slot is essentially meant to be the learning time slot. You know, it's develop learning or developing a skill is what I want to do with my Monday streams. However, uh, there are things, other things that I want to learn and develop other skills aside from Japanese and might be kind of getting a little tired of it. At the very least, I might be kind of getting a little tired of the games, so. <clears throat> so yeah, might be moving on to something else. And maybe we'll move on to something else here next time. Because uh, as for this episode... That's a wrap.
maybe I should learn to not suck. <laughs>